This is even more appropriate because of the ever-increasing speed of corruption that has engulfed this government. In fact, our original intention was to deal with PDS separately as we had advertised. But before we could uh, do the press conference, there another matter came which needs to be addressed. You know, if you are in opposition facing a corrupt government and the speed of the scandals <laughs> is such that it makes it difficult for you even to comment on all of them. So they are even giving us more work. <laughs> There's a traffic jam of scandals. <laughs> and we are, we are struggling to cope <laughs> with it. Because Ghanaians want to hear us on each and every one of the scandals. Yesterday, at the bar conference in Takrade, President Akufuado missed yet another opportunity to demonstrate that he should be trusted when it comes to fight against corruption. At a time when he and his government are producing corruption scandals at an unprecedented rate, one would have expected the president to use the opportunity of his address at the bar conference to reassure the nation of credible efforts to weed out the destructive canker. Instead, the president chose to play the proverbial ostrich and bury his head in the sand. He demonstrated clearly that he was not in touch with the realities of the time, that he held the most corrupt government in the history of Ghana. Rather than confront this resounding verdict of well-meaning Ghanaians, he opted for the path of delusion and denial. In summary, President Kufuadu lowered the bar for the fight against corruption at the bar conference. <laughs> Yes, he lowered the bar. <laughs> President Akufuadu lowered the bar for the fight against corruption at the bar conference. 